Hello, everyone. How are we? Hello. Hi, good. How are you? I'm doing great, and I'm loving what I've seen of Big Nate so far. When I spoke to Nate himself, he said, y'all were besties in real life, too. Uh, so, Arnie, can you talk about how you came to be part of this project and what it's like to voice a best friend with a best friend? So how I came a part of this project, um, let's go all the way back to when I was six years old. Okay. <laughs> and I was watching cartoons and my dad changed the channel. I'm like, dad, I was watching that. He's like, it's just stupid cartoons. You'll get over them one day. I'm like, nah, I never will. And lo and behold, just 31 years later, I finally got him back. Yes. Um, <laughs> no, but it's, what is unusual about this show is that us being friends in real life, it feels it feels real and it feels like um, we're falling into the roles that we actually play. Like Ben, who plays Nate, he actually draw is like an excellent, mm -hmm. like, yeah, illustrator in real life. And like he like he's always very like has a plan going and stuff like that. And me with Teddy, I'm like, oh, my God, this is like it's written like someone's been following me <laughs> around all my life. Um, and so it, it's honestly so amazing just to get to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. I, I think the thing I'm the most excited about is that I'm what they call in the industry a wero. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay that i've just got super like light skin yeah it, it is so amazing to get to actually get to play a hispanic character mm -hmm. um uh because you know my last name is pantoja and I, i'm i'm mexican but all my life everyone grew, like grew up like no you're not <laughs> and now it's finally like yeah like i uh i i get to do i'm, I'm actually using a voice that my dad used to use as a oh. kid where we play your truth. like no me pegue no me pegue <laughs> <laughs> That is yeah. beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Speaking of, you know, being one with your character, I know, Didi, that you do a lot of theater too. I saw Star Kid next to your name. Oh, I snap. Love, I love. Um, <laughs> you're, you're familiar with Star Kid. <laughs> yes, of course, of course. So, what is it like to play the biggest drama queen around? You get to infuse all of your theatrical energy with hers. Tell me about that. I mean, you really just said it. I I am very passionate about musical theater. Dee Dee is incredibly passionate about musical theater. And so it just sort of was really exciting for me to be able to, to just bring all of that energy and passion. And um, we have such a great team of writers as well that put all of these great, you know, theater tidbits in there. And I'm like, oh, I know what this is. And so it's just, yeah, it's really, it's really special and um, exciting too. And kind of echoing what Arnie was saying, representation is just really exciting as well. So, you know, being um, able to sort of bring that representation that I looked forward to as a kid that impacted me so positively when I watch cartoons, you know, see a character, hey, it looks like me. And hey, that, that their energy is like mine. Mm -hmm. I get to play a character that looks like me and whose energy is very similar to mine. And mm -hmm. yeah, it's just really special. Absolutely kismet. I love it. Uh, <laughs> Daniel, uh, in your youth, I don't know. I don't know your age. You were very young looking. Perhaps it worked out for you. Um, if you were familiar with Big Nate uh, in its time, or if you had to do research in order to embody Francis, can you talk about the journey of becoming Francis? Yeah, um, I had to do research, I guess, to look at Francis. <laughs> I wasn't as aware of Big Nate when I was younger, but... <laughs> Uh, I have so much family who are so such big fans of Big Nate and their kids especially. So it was so fun to to kind of dig into this. But when um, when I got the audition, what drew me to Francis was I saw I was like the rule follower, the one who wants to get everyone out of trouble. And I was like, yeah, that's the one that I <laughs> I have to audition for. That's the one I connected with the most. Um, and that's the one I could really look at and see myself in the character. And so I was so excited to jump in. And as we talked about, Ben knew all of us, uh, which was the craziest part. And I think just a, such a tribute to how great this cast was able to connect and work together and play off each other. I and love that. Speaking of playing off each other, I feel like uh, Francis and Teddy have like a very a special uh, cat and mouse type of connection. Tom and Jerry, I don't know. <laughs> um, can you guys talk about bouncing off of each other specifically? Yeah. Arnie, you want to go? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah Arnie, I was going to say, I, I, mean, I feel like Teddy... Uh... I feel like Teddy is the most realistic friend in all of this, that he's the kind of guy, he's like, man, I got you, I got your back 100%. And like, 
then there's a moment something goes wrong. He's like, I'm out. See ya. <laughs> like, or he'll like, he'll like, you know, joke around with you. And I feel like Francis and Teddy have this, like this love hate relationship where I love to make fun of him for being a dork and a nerd. Uh, you know, but like, uh, I mean, there's a future episode coming up. I'm not allowed to talk about it, but we have a, uh, <laughs> we have an emotional moment. And honestly playing off of that, I've never like, I've never had in a cartoon where I left. I'm like, oh my God, we were really acting right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like that. <laughs> that, yeah, that was a really incredible moment. But what I love about Francis and uh, Teddy is that it really is like, Teddy's like, I got an idea. I'm going to go here. And then Francis is like, guys, can we hold on one sec? Like it's a very much <laughs> balance each other out in that. Yeah. Sense. They're able to oh, really yeah. <laughs> kind of jump off. <laughs> was Francis with an idea that's going to ruin the day again. Like, you know, <laughs> uh, and Bryce, um, I think Dee Dee seems to like understand Nate the best, maybe, or just have the most emotional intelligence here with him. Can you talk about that relationship? I think that's key. It's the emotional intelligence and like the empathy. Like, you know, she always is like emotionally supportive of all of his shenanigans and where he's coming from. She gets where he's coming from and she tries to gently steer him, you know, in, onto a path that may like, you know, just be a little more successful for him than the crazy <laughs> prankster route that he tends to go all the time. And I also think that's where um, Dee Dee can connect to Francis mm. uh, as well, because they're they're both sort of the voice of reason in, in different ways, you know, so it, it's definitely definitely a, a well-balanced group um, between the four of these friends, I'd say very much so. Hey, and Bryce, I've also had those moments, like those relationships in like seventh grade where it's like the one cool girl hanging out with like the boys <laughs> and like, who's just like, yeah, whatever. You just like ignore us. Cause we're just like, you guys are idiots. And I feel like you <laughs> nail that. And Dee Dee is very particularly like cool in the sense that she knows who she is, mm-hmm. which I, I really appreciate about playing a character like that, you know, especially for someone who's so young to just very much know I am a theater nerd. I'm a budding thespian. I will one day, you know, be on the stages of Broadway and be in front of, you know, camera and be on the big screen. She just has these goals and and nothing will deter them. And I I love that. that. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm waiting for the episode where she will drag the rest of them into the school musical with her. So (laughs) if that hasn't happened... Listen, I am I, suggesting it. Okay. <laughs> Stay, Writer's credit right here. I mean, we do have we do have the short that's out right now, theater mm-hmm. antics, and Dee Dee is sort of like roping Nate into the theater yes. because you know everyone is like, oh, you're an actor, acting is this or that. You know, people don't always take it seriously, and Dee Dee is like, this is my life and my livelihood. You <laughs> will take it seriously, and so she basically puts him in all of these situations where she's like, oh, you think acting is easy? <laughs> little do you know he's gonna learn he's gonna learn so, yeah exactly he's gonna learn today and so that's that's definitely a lot of uh what Dee Dee does is kind of throwing the drama at her friends being like see how great this is and see how useful my acting skills can be and our you know shenanigans and all of our adventures well I cannot I really wait could. to see more of those adventures thank you guys so much I must bid you adieu but I wish to continue big name uh, in my life <laughs> goodbye <laughs> I do that, yeah. 